Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Also can be decent in the blind pick, and it looks like Jovi's playing Corky, so that's going to be the choice for this game. And that does confirm that it was indeed the Trindamir top. Uh, Doran going to take it into the Gragas. Okay. No. Uh, unfortunately for Genji, uh, Barrel and Deft able to get the crash here. And so oh, that's oh, a nice hook. That is a big one. Barrel's in a lot of trouble. Way too much damage. Even the turret shot getting into the mix. First blood, a fantastic job. He is victor into Corky, as you mentioned. Yeah, he's able so. by the match. But yeah. I've, I've <laughs> seen Trovi do things in matchups where he shouldn't be allowed to get ahead and he does regardless so especially the victor yeah. uh, the caitlin and tank Gragas will be perfectly suitable but collapse coming through and king in here all right let's see how king in deals with this they're waiting for toby to make their way over with the package but already the damage comes in doran's got the aggro on the turret and he can just pop his ultimate and that is easy peasy 3v1 more spicy but he will be okay as we do have the Rift Earl drop down here in the mid lane, and they didn't get the bot turret, but they're going to get this mid turret very early on, 15 and a half minutes. And that's just going to make this Caitlyn and Lux even more oppressive, kind of what you were talking about. The rotations are already coming in. They're getting another charge here on the mid inner turret. This will also go down at 1548. And so... Steps there by Peanut. Lahan's at the ready as well to take over his teammate. But, oh, I don't think they've seen King and don't think the Sweet Breath spotted him. Oh, King and is going to get on top of Lahens here, but he's easily able to flash away. But the damage is too much. Down goes the Thresh for now. And that makes it a four on five for this moment in time. But King and will immediately get burst down. George is a fantastic flank. And here comes Peanut just shredding them down one by one. And Jovi having all the room in the world, able to sell them with his missiles. He's able to pick up a kill of his own, and this is going to go well as Peanut still getting work done. This guy is on a mission, picks up a double, and Gen G just wiped the floor with DRX. Game completely broken open off of a fight that looked like it was in DRX's favor. Because uh, what we saw there was what seemed like Lahens getting caught. King and going for a deep flank, and they're not able to actually get anything, but instead, all the kills go to Peanut. He is monstrously fed. Freebie for Chovy as well. They pick up the Drake. That's the second Drake now. And that is an incredibly nice turn of events for Gen Chi. Go in on this one. Imagine, well, you can see the poke damage already coming out there. Zekka down below half health. Still trying to get in position, but Ghosting is late. And now it is way too late. here. Really nice preemptive flash from Ruler. Expecting that play to come in as they will also take down this turn. A little bit more getting you. Has been going on for about a minute. We've been just chasing each other around the map. Peanut's here now, he's gonna land that stun. Doesn't quite know that Pyoshik is behind him, but again, Lahens is here. Peanut knows I'm super fed, like you're not gonna get away from me. As in goes the ult, he's gonna pop down the Xinjiao. Yes, they get the objective bounty of that top turret, but what is it gonna matter? If everybody goes down, Peanut still on the chase as is Doran. Huge poke comes out of Ruler. And that is going to be two kills so far. Far gigantic play also comes in. Make that four kills as Doran looking for even a bit more. As I don't think he's going to find that, but it does not matter. Gen G massively on top. Really nicely done, and it's the same what we saw last time around. It's looking like it's DRX has set up the play. We have the flank. We can go in on this, but the execution from Gen G is just straight up better. Again, Lahans where he needs to be. Incredible amount of movement speed with the Predator, with the Death. But know. at the same time, I'm like, it's definitely Lahans. I think it should be Lahans. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Um, but I don't know. Like, Peanuts had such a fantastic it's, it's game. It's one of the two. It's hard. It's it hard. It is. It's difficult. And Gen G, they're going to try to not waste too much time here. Just using that Baron buff, taking down that bottom inhibitor turret. As, yeah, that's, oh. that's just about exactly what we would have expected. Yeah, seems seems good, seems fair. Yes. Corky, that is fed. Corky gaming. I mean, Varus didn't even hit anything. That was oh. only Corky's big one. I know. So, you know, <laughs> imagine, imagine the potential. Chovy's like, I want, I want votes too. I did, I did stuff. Oh boy. Okay. Well, well that, that, that makes my job a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> In goes Darn, he has his ultimate available. He's just gonna spin to win. On top of the Lux as well, Pyoshik will survive because he's Shindao and only because of that. As Genji 
might show a little bit of mercy for now. So they don't have any melee minions in here, but more are coming down. They're just going to play it safe, take the two inhibitors, and back away. Don't think they needed to do that, but they will take their time with this Behind one. enemy lines. Yeah, but like, who's flanking Wait, who? They DRX, don't know. DRX are they like, see him? Yeah, they see Doran. But at the same time, it doesn't matter. I mean, the, the package is here for Jovi. DRX are, are kind of caught in the middle of nowhere. Jovi's behind enemy lines. The Lux just evaporates into thin air. And this one is just about as done as you could call it. Doran also getting extremely aggressive there on the bottom side. Doesn't need the kills, but he would love some more. He's only 2 0 and 8, but does look like Genji just gonna stop some backs and go for the victory. A very dominant one here in game number one. Beautiful game. Genji taking a little bit of time to get going, but I say a little bit. It was like, what, 15, 10 minutes? Yeah. Uh, and, and with the composition, with much scaling, oh, no. it's completely fine. Chovy's oh, just gonna no. pad the stats a little bit more. One death. Only four of hands, uh, yep. and, and that's it. Wow. I'd say that's worth, yeah. Uh, somebody else died, actually, at the end there. Looks, does look like it was Peanut. Does not matter. They were 17. Damage they have available is insane, and I don't think Daft is going to be able to get a lot done here in this game. It's another situation where you're a fetus, and you're like, well, I'm playing against Corky Ziggs. <laughs> that, that'll, that, that'll be fun. <laughs> well, never mind. He's pretty far up, and the chains will land. So now, only now will he see Pyoshik, and it doesn't matter what champion you are, if you get that kind of reaction, you're not... This is, this is. I don't know about this. This is Wave coming extremely in. aggressive. The tether is going to land. They get on top of death. It's a lot of damage coming out, but Lahens will burn down as they will trade the kills for now. This is going to deny a bunch of the CS going the way of death, and they're looking for more as the Q comes in. Peanut flashes away, and he makes that gank absolutely worth. Really nicely done. He's getting his first strike gold. He's like, I don't, I don't really care what's happening with these guys. Wow, flash in, trying to get on top of Deft. There's so much damage coming out here. The last auto will be enough. And they take down Deft again. No flash, and Lahens still had his. That's going to be one kill into another. Lahens is just insane in this series. He sets up yet another couple of kills in the bottom lane. Over. He can definitely kill Deft here, and Deft is not going to respect it. He has his flash. He does not even bother. And that's just going to be Deft dead once again. Not the, not the, not the best feeling if you are a Deft fan. Has not been having a lot of fun in the series. I suppose in the early uh, game of the first one, it was okay. As Peanut is up in the top lane now, looking for the kick. They are inside the circle, and that should be an easy kill onto Kingen, Peanut, and Lahens. We saw a lot of support and jump. really gets to have the same impact anymore if you pick it early in the draft. Peanut's here, and he's looking to get this kill down. Mine. Doesn't look like any smites are coming in, but Peanut is going to pick it up. He will trade his life eventually. Takes quite a while there, and that is a nice little shutdown into the pockets of Zekka. So, yes, you get the Chemtech Drake. It's decent, as we will have this big trade up in the top side. The Needles are throwing, but the Immortal Shield Bow keeping Doran alive and the Lifesteal as well. And guess what? Lahans is in the top lane as well. You've seen him bot, you've seen him mid, and now the third behind. Uh, because he's been put so far ahead, he is never afraid, right? Like, he is in no danger, picks it up for free. Kyoshi going to be very, very sad about that as, oh, here they are again. Yeah, Barrel does have a stopwatch, a and I think one. it will save his life because Peanut is in kind of no man's land here. He will get denied on the blast plant as he gets hooked in with the dredge line, so Peanut, he's having a lot of fun. In a way, he's not going to face check that brush, though, which is definitely a good idea. He still has the package here. They're just trying to get him to use it. As I think Peanut really wanted to get in there and maybe punish the distortion. Either way, he is being extremely... Peanut's here. And this time, he has Smite. So let's see how he does. It's going to be Aphelios, actually, death who does pick it up here for DRX. Doran on the flank gets in behind them. He does have that grip, but he is still taking a lot of damage. He will get the kill on the Sindal, and Ruler just barely going to survive. But look at those needles coming in from King and doing a hefty amount of damage. And frontlining for his team, Depth does get it done. But guess what? Jovi is still alive. He was having fun on the top side of this fight, and he will be able to clean up the rest of it. It does look like Severum does come out, but that is a big missile to the back from Jovi, and they will even give him, actually, they give it to Doran. Doran picks up the kill, and it's still a decent fight in the end for Genji. And while that was happening, Genji... The enemy team is going to invade and take your red. 
So, nice try. Who collapses on who? Now they're trying to get onto King and they're lining up for all the needles. He is surviving for a long period of time, but it will not be enough. He is just too far behind as now Barrel will eat a lot of that damage. Zekka does a nice job on the back line, but that's only onto Leona. As Peanut gets the kick perfectly onto Deft. And Pioshek just barely trying to pick up one kill. And that will be it for him as he does go down. Gen G just absolutely smashing well, them. Not this one just never was decent. Dorn is just gonna come oh, in no. again, I guess. <laughs> Barrel. Uh, oh, that was mean. Yeah. Lance. Come on, Doran. He was just trying to enable his support to get closer. And uh, they're just yeah, Peanut's having a little bit too much fun. Not as nearly as clean of a game he has uh, as he had in game number one, but the outcome of this one honestly feels very, very much set in stone. It's, yes, it's whatever. And, uh, you know, he's still taking a lot of damage. The uh, the ultimate does come out from the Nautilus. Doesn't seem to matter. As Piotrzyk is going to get chopped down here on the bottom side of this fight. And Chovy will just be leading the charge with the Baron buff onto this middle inhibitor. 23 minutes in. Will Gen Z go for the end now? or will they go for that double inhibitor is basically the only question we have left. Uh, yeah, they can do whatever. Last time around, they opted for safety. I think this time around as well, just making sure that even if everything goes horribly wrong from here, you have two inhibitors. They have to pick another objective as look at these health bars, Velvus. They can't do anything. Yeah. Might as well just take both, right? Just take down both inhibitors. You've got the Baron buff going here. And it does look like they will actually just get into the portal. I, I feel like this is almost just for fun. They're like, well, let's get in the portal. That does some damage. Yeah. That was pretty nice. Pina not having as much fun this time around. That is an early ultimate there from Xin Zhao. He even has himself a stopwatch. Not going to matter. I, I enjoy the purchase. Very, very nice idea. As they decide not to flash out of that one, at least for depth. So he's going to take a lot of damage. They're going to go for this last turret and end the game, you would have to imagine. I don't think there's anything that can be done here. And it is just absurd levels of dominance from the entire digital. Guys, you can end. You don't you don't have to go back again. <laughs> They're gonna go back again. They're playing it clean. Oh, wait, no. Toby's got TP. Nah. I'm right? Gonna Surely he's just gonna TP back. Like Doran's right. going in there. The rest of the team is like, wait, no, no, let's 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 wait it out. And Zach is finally gonna pick up a kill onto the Thresh. So he does he does get that going. Or not a Thresh, the Leona. No Thresh in this game. As the ultimate will come out here, Chovy doesn't seem to try to survive. He will just uh, run away from that ultimate for as long as he possibly can. Now just frontlining, gonna dodge everything with that stopwatch and let his buddy Graves do the dirty work. As in goes Peanut for the kill, even the kick coming in as they want that last one and they will get it. GG, Gen Z, smack him down, 2-0, and they...